car is loaded with all of our stuff, it's time for our road trip. Is it not open? No. <laughs> now? Okay. okay, now it's time for our road trip. It's all about love. We didn't miss much, we made it now half of the way, we just crossed the border between Pennsylvania and New York, Pennsylvania was pretty empty or like not a whole lot to show, we had quite a lot of stops for fast food. This entire vacation I didn't really have the time to answer all of your comments underneath of the videos. I just checked them out, um, I always read everything even if I don't have the time to answer it. And a lot of you were saying in the very first videos how I'm doing it, having the money to come here to the US, stay here for so many days. But basically this trip is very inexpensive, we didn't pay for accommodation so far, we got with Vanessa's school thing everything basically for free and we stayed with my relatives in Miami I think the only place we have to pay is in New York which wasn't really planned I actually also have friends there but they're unfortunately not there so um, but yeah the flights super inexpensive Vanessa found good flights how much was it like three four hundred euros and this trip was mostly about just having a vacation once a year and also visiting my family in Miami, especially my grandma that I haven't seen in an entire year. Um, that's kind of really important to me to at least be able to see her once in a while. And she had an incident like half a year ago, a really bad one, was in hospital for a long time. So I kind of had the feeling I have to come and, and visit her. Also this entire trip was also already planned and paid before I got into this situation with the labels and the situation is now also resolved. I pulled back most of the tracks onto my own label. Now all of the money that they're making goes directly 100% to me. I can use it to build up my own label, release other artists tracks, help them to develop, help them to release their tracks, promote them and just everything that has to do with like doing a normal label job. Some were even complaining about me having the Patreon thing, but if you don't want to support me there, you don't have to. I'm very thankful for the persons that do and they get something as a reward. I also only use the money for the things that I announce on the website. I got the microphone. I don't use it for my private pleasure or anything. It's all reinvested. Someone else asked us about how we like the US and how it compares to Germany. So far really good. The big differences are definitely the, the, food, the food size, like the plates. It's huge. The cup sizes for, for drinks, it's enormous. Like, or? We don't have refills. That's the orange juice you get here in the US and it was one of the smaller ones. Yeah. What else? Driving is boring in the US, I have to say that. It's yeah. Slow. It's slow and everyone is driving the same speed so you don't really have to do a whole lot of shopping. Like clothes and everything is a little cheaper in the US um, and food is cheaper. And actually we never had like a bad meal really. I think the worst was eating at IHOP. Everything else was really good, even at places where I didn't expect to get good food, good meals, it was still good. In Germany you sometimes go to a restaurant and it's just really bad. It just happens sometimes. And the service is way better in the US. The people are way nicer, way nicer. If you go into a store in Germany, you sometimes have the feeling they don't even want to sell you their stuff and they're annoyed by you even entering it and here the people are extremely friendly, helpful Oh look, Louis gun shop I always wanted to fire a gun I think the US is the best place for it In Germany there is no way anyone would ever give me a gun And what I've learned today is actually that the US is very empty There is a lot of countryside I never really got to experience that because usually you just fly from one of the big cities to the next one but it's it's beautiful and very similar to germany actually this part here between washington and new york you killed it a lot on my soul. i have to put 
put on my shoes to be able to drive and we're in a village I don't know the name it looked very cute but very very small maybe maybe five six thousand inhabitants it's so cool how the guy is changing the prices on the gas you see he has this pole and I think a magnet at the front and he's like changing the numbers on the sign wherever I am Just a really quick 7-Eleven stop. Yeah, it's the very first time I didn't pick the biggest one because they had a sign with the calories on it. So, so I felt a little bit bad. It's dark, we've made it to the Niagara Falls. I can't see them, but I can already hear them a little. I don't know if you can hear it, but we will check them out in a bit first, getting all of the suitcases up to the hotel. Vanessa's already taken care of it. Okay, so I just need ID. If you go out these back doors here, right across the street in the state park, it's about a five minute walk, and there's gonna be people out there. Okay, um, so, so we'll just kind of follow the crowd, yeah. yeah. Can you believe that they knew that we're coming and they just start the fireworks for us? It's nice, huh? It's your surprise for me. Yeah, of course. Do you see the first water? Yeah, I think. I'm so excited. I always wanted to go to the Niagara Falls and now it's finally happening. Canada looks so nice. Yes, the other side is lit. Good we are here. Wow, do you see that? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, that's Canada on the other side. Maybe one day we will do Canada as well. Yep. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Who knows? That's our one, two, three, third room we're staying in, and it's the third time we have separate baths, and Vanessa really doesn't like it. Actually, it's the fourth time. Fourth? Miami. Oh, yeah, okay.